Louisiana U.S. Senator Bill Cassidy opposes Governor Jeff Landry's push to change the state's open primary system to a party primary system for elections. Senator Cassidy says if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's his quote. And as Sabrina Wilson reports, voting rights advocates say it could worsen voter participation. Louisiana currently has an open primary system. Our current system, of course, uh, anyone can run in the primary. Your party doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're an independent. Um, it's an open primary, also called the jungle primary. Everyone runs. But Republican Governor Jeff Landry's official call for the special session includes changing the open primary system. Senator Bill Cassidy, also a Republican, is strongly against the idea of going to a closed primary. I find it incredibly ironic that when the, for the first time, and I think in our state's history, a uh, conservative Republican majority, super majority is in the both the uh, state house and the state senate. Fiscal conservatives are about to add 90 million dollars in spending. Further, Cassidy says, uh, at the end of last uh, Governor Edwards' term, big fight between fiscal conservatives and the administration over whether or not to raise the expenditure limits or the spending caps. I'm thinking if you're going to spend 90 million dollars, you're going to have to increase the spending cap. Rosalind Blanco, cook of the League of Women Voters of New Orleans. Although the League of Women Voters of New Orleans hasn't taken a stance as of yet, uh, certainly the goal of the League is to get as many people to vote as we possibly can. And of course, from the last election, it was so dismal, the turnout. And I don't think that this um, a, a change in the election system, in the primary system, would actually help turnout at all. And she says, I think it would only um, confuse people. Which means that 800,000 independent Louisianians will be disenfranchised. They won't have any choice. Now you can go to the general and they can vote for who's ever selected between the party primaries, but clearly for those 800,000, they're not gonna have a choice, period, end of story. Their concerns, a closed primary will result in far left and far right candidates. Dr. Robert Collins is a Dillard University political analyst. Generally speaking, when we see closed primaries in other states, what happens is um, the elections tend to polarize toward the extremes. From academic studies, it has shown that candidates typically do become a bit more extreme. Collins thinks a close primary would benefit Landry if he seeks re-election. In all likelihood, in a closed primary system, he would not receive any serious opposition within the Republican Party because, because the moderates would know that there's really no realistic chance of knocking him off. Now the big question is whether the Republican dominated state legislature will want to hand the first Republican governor in eight years a defeat. I would be very surprised if a, a supermajority legislature would buck a Republican governor who, who was just elected. I reached out to Governor Jeff Landry for a response and have not heard back. I also requested comment from the state's other U.S. Senator John Kennedy, also House Majority Leader Steve Scalise, and Congressman Troy Cotter of this area for comment, but also haven't heard back, Liz.